Hi, and welcome to the Calacrity two-minute webinar series called Have You Met? And today we're going to take a look at the new SharePoint Lists experience. This just came out uh, in the past week or so. It's been released to early release uh, customers. We're super excited to show it to you. So let's take a quick look at what's new. First thing you'll see that's new in the user interface, there's an info button at the top right of my screen. When I have an item in a list selected and I click on the info button, it'll pull up properties, recent activity, sharing, and other attributes of that item. I can edit them in line without ever leaving the list view. So I still have a list view on the left-hand side of my screen, but I can make changes on the right-hand side. Let's take a look at what that looks like in practice. So I have on my screen here uh, an old version of this list if I wanted to edit the item. I would go click on the ellipsis, click edit item, and it'll bring me up a form. So I no longer have the view. If I want to edit that item here, I'll pick that item, I'll click on the info pane, and I will be able to now go in and make changes to that item that have been saved. Something that's changed, a big change for us who are using SharePoint lists and managing lists all the time, are the ability to manage our columns. So historically, we had the ability to sort and filter on any column in a SharePoint list. Now we can sort, filter, group, rename, move, hide, and show and add columns. So let's take a quick look at what that looks like in practice. If I wanted to do that in the old version, I would go into list, list settings, columns, and I can see them here. In the new version, I click on the list header and I have the ability to sort and filter much as I did, but I also have groupings and additional column settings where I can rename this, I call it territory. and save it. So in the past, I'd have to go and create, manage columns in here at the individual level. I can do it right from within the UI here. The third thing, this is completely new, is the ability to use Power Apps and Flow. If you haven't seen them yet, I'll be doing two-minute videos on them. Create custom applications and custom workflows for your mobile device. So let's summarize real quickly. We have now, we've added inline editing using the info button on the screen. We've added some ease of use capabilities to manage columns more easily. And we've added integration with Power Apps and Flow about which you'll be reading, seeing, and hearing a lot more. One additional piece of information to learn more about this, I have a link here to Chris McNulty's recent blog. Chris is on the SharePoint product team and blogs about modern SharePoint lists. And as always, our contact information is here. So thanks for joining today. And now you've met the modern SharePoint list experience. Good luck.